you know, you don't always have fan have to have fancy seed trays. Um, not everybody can afford fancy seed trays. And also you don't really need to, because I like to upcycle things. And um, someone was throwing this tray out and it's got a lid on it like this. So it makes the perfect little propagator. Um, and I am gonna use it to sow some of my lettuces in. Uh, lettuces are quite shallow rooting plants, so they'll be totally fine in here. I mean, obviously you haven't got quite the depth. You've probably got about about an inch in, in here. So you wouldn't want to put anything that has huge big roots uh, in it, but for small seeds that you're gonna prick out fairly quickly, it's totally fine. So I'm gonna use it for my lettuces and I'm gonna plant uh, um, an array of lettuces in here. Uh, right now and I may because it is so big and I don't need that many lettuces I might actually put some brassicas in here as well um, but I shall get on with that and I'll just show you what I'm going to be doing so I've got some canasta I'll turn that up the right way for you I've just got to be careful that the all the seeds doesn't fall out some canasta and these are a really nice uh, summer lettuce so I'm going to pop some of those in here and I've already moistened the tray um, and it's all, it's, I put a fine-ish um, compost in here because compost now, unless you spend a fortune, a lot of the composts are made up with lots of kind of very bulky wood, I don't know, bark, cuttings of all sorts of things and it's not very great for sowing seeds in I don't think um, so I'm trying to find a seed sowing compost that isn't doesn't cost the earth and as I grow an awful lot of seeds I need a lot of seed sowing compost so I don't want to have to get a mortgage out to buy the compost um, so I, I've got some in here and um, I shall just put, pop some of these seeds in for the summer and I just lay these on the top in, so I'm going to be putting it in this one. Let me just move that so you can see it a bit better. Just do a little sprinkle over the top. So you, sorry, other hand, <laughs> so you can see. going to be more than enough uh, because I'm growing some of these for our allotment shop as well that's why there's so many um, now you can just put a small layer of compost on the top of that but I prefer vermiculite so I shall put some vermiculite on the top um, rather than the compost but I'll show you the whole lot once I've, I've got it all sewn so that's the lettuces sewn, little gem, cos, cannanoni, uh, navara and canasta. So they're different um, green, some are green, some are sort of ready coloured. The cos is a lettuce, I like a, a good cos and I like little gem as well. I like that cooked, nice and char grilled. Um, so that's my lettuces, I may or may not find some more. There's one that I particularly like called Bronze Bronze Beauty. And I know that I've got some seeds, but I can't find them off the top of my head. So if I can find those, I'll add that to the list. So I shall cover those in some vermiculite, shut the lid down, and that's it. So as I said, don't always fret if you don't have bought seed trays. Just use what you can and what you can pick up. Recycling plastic is brilliant rather than having single use as well. So it's always a good thing. So in the matter of a few days, all the tomatoes came up and they look beautiful. And I've got quite a lot of them. Um, and I've already started pricking some of them out, but I'm gonna finish these off today. And uh, within about three days, 
all the lettuces came up and I've been pricking them out for the last couple of days. And this is the last lot that's left now, which is some uh, little gems. And I managed to find the tomatoes that I wanted to pop in, uh, some green doctors uh, that I found. So I popped those in and they're up too. So it's going to be a, a very big uh, pricking out day for lettuces and all the tomatoes that I popped in the other day. I've been quite amazed at how quick the lettuces came up and I, I'm sure it's because of this little kind of cloche um, greenhousey thing that I've created with this, with this uh, cake box that was going to be thrown in the bin. So, so don't think about single waste plastic use everything that you've got because you never know. Very useful. So I potted up all of the uh, lettuces and you can see there are an awful lot of different varieties. Here are a lot of the, uh, <coughs> here are a lot of the lettuces that I potted up and they're ready now to plant out and um, add some more here and over here. So we're gonna get those ready and I'll show you some mixed lettuces that I've already potted on. Here are my mixed lettuces for the food bank and for our plant sale. And I think that they're looking rather lovely. Um, yeah. I hope you decide to grow a, a range of lettuces because it does make the bed look really pretty and they taste really great. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. But whatever you're doing, wherever you are, happy growing. Bye bye.